Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 22nd. So this is just a message from my guides for you. Um, it's a preview of what's to come, perhaps. It may or may not be for you. This reading is not sign-specific, and it's not time-specific, okay? This is just a daily preview, energy, whatever, okay? So let's get started. So I just want to let you know that imposter has been suspended. Yay! So anyway, here we go. Here we go. What do we have for the 22nd? What do we have for the 22nd? We're just going to get an overall energy with this card. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I should have just said it. I was crazy shit. I, when I was looking at my decks, before I start this reading, I try to pick out which deck I'm going to pull. And I, and I picked up a deck. It was actually this deck right here. And I pulled a card out and I didn't use it because I don't know why. And I put it back and I pulled out this same card right here. It's the Empress. The Empress. Um, this is the birth of a new life. She gives birth to a new life. This is a card of abundance, beauty, love, nurturing, creativity. This is a, this is a creator, somebody who creates and gives birth to a new life. But to get to that new life, she has to experience pain. So, we do have, this is like a birth here. It's the birth of something new. You could be, you know, this could be somebody that is going through some sort of transformation. You know, I don't know. Um... We got somebody here that is absolutely glowing. Um, see her heart, the heart chakra, acting from the heart. The heart is is the heart is um, pronounced here. You know, there's so much love. There's self love. So we have somebody here that is really it's basically loving themselves. Th th you know through creating themselves through their own pain so there's like this this new love for self that's what this is and when you love yourself you're able to properly love others so anyway this uh, it's a very fertile time okay it's a time of growth it's a time of change we have a new life here okay so but it took some time. It did take some time, didn't it? It did. Something is about to... Something's about to start. If you think about fertility, somebody is going to get pregnant. I don't know who. <laughs> or somebody is about to start something and it's going to grow. doesn't have to be a pregnancy. This woman or person, I think it's a woman, the Empress, I really do. She can grow anything because of her experience, okay? She's very experienced. Anyway, something is about to begin. Something is about to begin here. That's what we got. And it may just be, I'm getting the goosebumps, the answer to your prayers. Obstacle. There's an obstacle being removed. Now, this also represents the sign of Taurus, and it represents the sign of Libra, but that does not mean that is who it is. It could be anybody. Anybody can take on those energies. Um, but Taurus and Libra are ruled by Venus, which is the Empress. But anyway, this is an obstacle being removed. And it was negativity. It was thoughts, okay? Somebody, somebody, something some sort of negative thoughts or a negative idea or 
Yeah, somebody was trapped, but they're not trapped anymore. No, see, letting go of that victim mentality. Five of Pentacles, reverse. This is, you know, coming out of the darkness. It's the end of difficulty here. This is what this is. It's like coming out of prison, you know? Mental prison. There's a change in circumstances here. There is. Yep, there's a change in circumstances. And then we, we have, you know, somebody moving in a new direction. Very finding the discipline. Ooh. No, the waiting is over. The waiting is over. Now, the, somebody's passed the test as well. The Knight of Pentacles is my test card. Somebody has passed the test. And it's like... This is a lack of awareness. Somebody may have been waiting for something to arrive. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting and wasting their time. Somebody was unaware that they were wasting time and now they're moving in a new direction. Somebody could be coming. Okay, somebody could be coming that you've been, it's like the waiting is over. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be. Could be anybody because, I mean, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But... It's like somebody may want you to give them a chance. You know, they may want, may want to begin something with you. But I don't think this is a reconciliation. So some of you are automatically thinking it's a reconciliation. I don't think that's what this is. This is, no, it's not. It's new, new. Okay. Like that's why I pointed that out. Apparently there's a reason why the words come out of my mouth. It's something new. It's like the seed gets planted and it starts to grow. It's something new. Okay, it's something stable. It's something solid. It's something that is practical. It's something secure. Anyway, I think that it's not the reconciliation that you think it is. You Somebody's been wasting their time thinking they were going to get a reconciliation with somebody. Just being honest with you. I'm just being honest with you. Thinking they were going to get another chance with somebody. I mean, I'm just being honest. But this is coming out of the darkness, being practical. It is. It's being practical. So, um, removing that obstacle. Options. Yeah, there's so many options. There is so many options. Endless opportunities here. Emperor reversed. Hmm. Loss of loss of concentration. Somebody has may have been getting angry and frustrated and upset. Trying to control. Trying to control the outcome. Trying to control who? Right? Trying to control who? Who it is? Who 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 who? Somebody been trying to control, clinging to control. Clinging to control has brought about some anger. It has. It has. Somebody was living in illusion and they've been confused, letting their thoughts get the best of them, not thinking clearly, not wanting to see the truth, see the mask. Somebody hasn't been wanting to see the truth. Seriously, the truth reversed, honest, honestly here. But now it's like... <laughs> oh boy now they got this desire they have these desires that need to be met right they do they have these desires that need to be met now they're they're they <laughs> well let me get the rest of the cards four of wands queen of cups 
we have somebody here that is moving towards committing themselves to somebody. It's like they're looking for a commitment. Now they're they're ready. They're, they're now they're they're looking for a commitment. They're looking f to for happiness. And maybe they have decided that they are going to turn their back on their fears, their ego. Somebody's ego, this is ego, has gotten in the way of happiness. Pride, rejection, okay, rejection. Look at this shit right here. We have somebody whose ego has been through the roof. Through the fucking roof. Excuse my language, but that is the truth. But now they're coming out of this darkness. They're coming out of this darkness. And it's like there's, they were not aware because their ego was driving. But now they're starting to see something. Now they're starting to see. And you notice the Queen of Cups with the Empress. I mean, this is, you know, their, their heart wants something their heart wants something and they probably see somebody with a really big heart that they want to them to give them a chance you know can you give me a chance can you just give me a chance I think that we have somebody here that is coming forward I think they're almost here Okay, I think they're almost here. I do. I think they are. They've been taking quite a long time. They've been quite, taking quite a long time to to get to wherever it is that they're going. But I think it's been going on behind the scenes. You think about the devil, it's ruled by the shadow, the unseen, the unseen. So I feel like, and I do feel like there's some unseen here. It's like this person is coming, but you may not have seen it coming. You know what I'm saying? This person is not who you think it is just so you know so if you're sitting there and you're thinking oh it's so and so is gonna come back I don't know this is not a reconciliation it's not uh uh it's not I, I think we have somebody here that is desiring love I am desiring you know happiness I'm desiring love and passion and you know sex I mean I'm gonna be honest I mean it is what it is I want to have it I, I, I you know and I feel like we have somebody that here that has decided you know I've been wasting my time hoping for a reconciliation for this person that has kept me trapped and stuck in fantasy land it's what it is it is what it is I can't make it up anyway we have, we have a we have a new life here this is the birth of a new life somebody has decided to plant their seeds through sex, we got, um, you know, someplace else. So somebody could absolutely positively get pregnant if you were at that age, okay? Or if that's what you're looking for, absolutely. But I feel like there's, there's, there, there could be some passion. There could definitely be some passion. There could be some, um, a coming together of two people that are probably, you know, they're meant to come together. We have the, we have the Empress and the Emperor okay they're meant to come together I think this that we have one person that has been going growing frustrated very much frustrated and it got to the point where this person is about to lose control you know because they have these desires to be met if the control hasn't been lost already so anyway I feel as though um, somebody is about to make a choice make a decision and and I think that they're they are struggling they are they are struggling to make that decision to unblock their heart and open up to this beautiful person I think that they see this person you know what I mean they see the opportunity but if you but there's been some heartache there's been some heart pain there's been some suffering and this person has been suffering. This person has been suffering and they haven't been able to master their emotions and they've been very fearful. They haven't been, they haven't had faith. There's definite lack of faith here. 
They haven't had faith in love, in new beginnings, and they've been blocking their truth, and they've been blocking their emotions. They have been blocking truth, blocking truth. Okay, they've been in denial. They've been avoiding love. They've been avoiding commitment. They've been avoiding a partnership because of their previous pain, right? But now they're coming out of it. Now they're coming out of it. They are coming out of it because they have these strong desires to, uh, <laughs> you know, be loved, be taken care of. So get prepared because I feel like we have somebody here that is painfully, this is painful, it is, painfully making a decision to stop wasting their time. This is the Knight of Wands. Somebody that lacks confidence, not taking any action. This person hasn't been, you know, right over the devil. It's like this person has, like I said, has desires that need to be met. I'm just being honest with you here. So, you know, it's like I got to do something. So, um, got to walk away from that emotional disappointment to have the Nine of Cups. So, yeah, somebody is, is, uh, deciding to leave the the hurt and the loneliness and the sadness they're deciding to go it's time to go it's time to go so somebody's going somebody is going they are and they're headed towards something kind of they want a relationship knight of cups that i you know i, I want a relationship i want romance i want love it looks like they're going to be giving their love to this <laughs> big-hearted individual because we have the Queen of Cups and the Empress. This is somebody is, whose heart is huge. This person is very nurturing, very caring, very loving. So if you are this person, you know, there's somebody coming in. There is somebody coming in with some sort of emotional, you know, offer they may be inviting you out on a date they may be taking you out on a date or something like that um whatever this is it's like this person sees the opportunity for a relationship and i think they are about to <laughs> trot on in so if you are this woman or person i think it's a woman but whatever that really loves yourself you are about to start something new <laughs> If you are the man watching this, I feel like you are the one that is taking action towards this person. And whoever this person is, she is beautiful. She's glowing. She has a huge heart. And she can take very good care of you. So there is somebody coming in. Um, if, especially if you're the female. I think I, I, I think the male is the one that is doing the pursuing. The masculine. I do. And I'm not just saying that. I do. I think that she's going to get... Because the, the, the Empress doesn't chase. She doesn't. We've talked about this before. Somebody comes to her. She knows better. She's wise enough to know better. She's got life experience. So, yeah. We, got, we have a very experienced woman, feminine here, that is about to start a new life. Whether she's going to get pregnant or somebody is new is coming in, you know, you, you know, you have to get pregnant. You gotta, somebody's got to plant a seed, right? So there's, there's sex here. There is sex here. And I think that we're dealing with a masculine that, you know, is very frustrated over having no sex. So I'm being honest with you. Okay. And you know, it is what it is. I'm not just going to, I'm going to say what I see and that's the way it goes. And people don't like it. And that's just, tough titties so anyway um, there's a there's a new romance about to bud and that is what I got good luck